Another very generous coating of high temp silicon paint to the exhaust header wrap and then a thorough heating with a blowtorch to help cure it into place. Here we can see the wrap smoking. It actually caught fire once and then uh, burned out. You can see the smoke pouring out of the tubes. I got it really hot to cure that paint. Now it's all done. All right, now that everything's cooled off from that curing process with the blowtorch, we're gonna go ahead and set the exhaust down here under the bike. Uh, give you a hint, you might want to attach the front first. I went through quite the exploratory procedure. But at any rate, we got everything lined up, so now we're just going to tighten everything back down. There's a 12 millimeter bolt inside here behind the brake. Uh, that'd be your right foot peg. Make sure you use the spacer and the offset and the washer and the bolt. Um, that exhaust bracket gets kind of hot because it's right above the catalytic converter. You know, just snug that down. And then you give it about 10, 15 foot pounds of torque, something like that, maybe 17, 20, I don't know exactly. I'm not using a torque wrench, these are just exhaust brackets. Use a box wrench and the socket here. We're gonna hang the pipe on the back using this setup. Uh, notice how that's arranged, and then torque that down. You don't want it rattling free. On the front, there's four um, nuts on the exhaust flange bolts, studs actually. So go ahead and snug all of those down. Unfortunately, the glass fiber here was so bulky around the flange. One, it made getting the flange kind of hard back on. I should have left a bigger gap. And number two, it makes getting these nuts kind of difficult back in place. Uh, if this looks easy, which it seems to, it was not. Um, in reality, this took well over an hour. We're just um, summarizing. We're going to tighten up all these bolts. The uh, front wheel gets in the way here with this size extender. I don't have any other size extenders in 3 8 so I had to force, force to use this one. And just moving our way in, this inner one was the hardest one. That glass fiber, as you can see, I had to move it and push it out of the way. Um, a little bit to, to get the clearance I needed. And then we just tighten that all the way down like this and continue until everything's snug and go back and forth. You want to make sure your exhaust header is uh, pressing in even steven on those copper washers. And then uh, this is the last bolt down there um, on near the shifter. There's a bolt that holds the catalytic converter on the other side. We're going to push the oxygen sensor down here into this retainer and then we're going to leave it loose. It's also going to go behind this retainer. Now here's the weird part. It's going to have to go to the right to tighten. So we're going to turn it to the left and we're going to get this wire real twisty like this. And what we're doing is we're twisting the wire so that when we put it back in the hole, it can twist back into the place without stripping the wire. So this has really twisty. Okay, now that it's nice and twisty, we'll set it back in the hole. Seventeen millimeter spanner to tighten that into place. Produce more angular torque. What we're going to do is put a five or a six millimeter uh, box end spanner like this onto the Torx T handle, and that way we can push up. You want your push up like this. You want your rear peg here at a sufficient amount of torque so they won't rattle free because this is your rear brake. It's and your foot peg. So you want to give it a fair amount of torque so that it's nice and secure. 
We'll just double check that real quick. And this enables you to get more torque than you can get by just using the handle like that. Okay, so we're just gonna push those on there and then we're gonna feed these panel retaining pills here, here manually. There's two on each side. And use the T handle like this. Like that. Down to the last uh, four bolts to hold this lower cowling on. That uh, took exactly four times longer than I thought it would. Wow, worked up quite a sweat actually. Uh, they call it working upside down when you work on the floor like this. Having a proper motorcycle bench with a ramp so you work on it at arm's length and eye height is much better, but I don't have anything fancy like that. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Go back Thank and you. tighten those up.